Hi there, welcome to David Herkey's Flight Sims. In this short video I'd like to demonstrate an alternative method of pushing back your aircraft using voice attack. I've used voice attack frequently in DCS and in this video I've used voice attack simple mouse macros to select menu items on the GSX menu. This is push back with voice attack and MC reverse push pulls. Sure, parking brake, release. Using the voice attack mouse macros is very easy. As long as the window that you want to interact with stays in the same place on the screen, you can compile a mouse macro and it will work perfectly every time. 448, vacate right and gate from the Victor, parking stand fine. Victor, stand fine, 448. Using MCE and the GSX menus, you can add multiple mouse microns to address the different options in the pushback, such as left, pushback, right or straight directions. Just select the option when you're doing the macro. Any fixed window can use a mouse micro. You can even do mouse macros for your 2D FMC. EC639, taxi uniform, warning point Alpha 2. Uniform Alpha 2, runway 27, thank you, EC639. Or any panel that's fixed in one place. So if you can open the 2D panel, you can do a mouse micro. Set parking brakes. To left or right mouse click on that panel. Set parking brake. Parking brake set. Metro 4 3, proceed to Seattle. Traffic. Traffic. Unlocking gear. The voice attack is a voice command interface that can emulate all keyboard presses and do mouse macro. So how do we make a mouse macro using voice attack to be used in any simulation or on our PC desktop? Any window that stays open and remains in a fixed position we can access with a mouse macro. So here we go. First of all open edit a profile, new command We'll enter the new command's name. This is what you will speak. So let's have open weather. Go to mouse, set the mouse position. So on the window, wherever you place the mouse, we want to capture that position. So we'll place it over the icon that we require. Alt F3 will save that position. OK, OK. We'll have a pause. Always works better with a pause. Open mouse again. Add a mouse action. As you can see, we've all these different mouse actions. But we want 
a double click left button which is there for us OK OK done now to test it the command we entered was open weather open weather and there you have it so that's a example of how we use a mouse macro in voice attack let's move over to Athens where we have multiple menu options of left right and straight pushbacks and see these implemented in a mouse macro so following on from what I said previously to make a mouse macro with multiple mouse presses it's simply a matter of positioning the mouse accurately over the menu item and then issuing a mouse clip. Turk Air 2 3 1 read back correct. Turk Air 2 3 1 request push and start. Turk Air, two, three, one. Radio one, go into ground. Contact ground when you're ready. On one, two, one, decimal, seven, five. Reverse push left, please. What? No engine is running. Ladies and gentlemen, for your own safety, we instruct you to keep your seatbelt fastened during the entire flight. Please observe that this flight is a non-smoking flight. Departure check completed. Live has been inserted. Release parking brakes. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start that wheel. Start in engine number one. Start valve open engine one. N one. Fuel flow, engine 1. Start a cut out, engine 1. Start engine 2. OK, start to engage, engine 3. Start valve open, engine 3. N1. Fuel flow, engine three. Set parking brakes. So that's it really. I hope you enjoyed these examples using voice attack on the pushback GSX menu.
Oyster Tuck is not an expensive utility and you can use it in multiple simulations on multiple platforms. I've used it with success in the DCS K50 Black Shark. Unlocking gear. Start to cut out engine feet. Unlike most things in the flight simulator world, imagination is your only limitation. Thanks for watching. Keep safe. Take care. Bye for now. Right is clear.